Now, just when you didn't think Joe Biden's blunders could get any worse, <laughs> he has a week like this one. After a two-year hiatus due to COVID, the White House Easter egg roll was resumed, and President Biden, well, I think his uh, office staff probably wish they had canceled this one too, okay? Because <laughs> while working the rope line, some pesky reporters actually ask him a real question beyond asking him about his favorite ice cream flavor. As he seemed to get lost in the question and then start speaking off the cuff instead of off of a script, a staffer dressed as the Easter Bunny jumped in and intervened, pulling the president away from reporters so he didn't say something that might have been honest and truthful. Watch. <laughs> And like a good boy, he just walks off with the Easter Bunny. There he did. Now, reports are that when Jen Psaki leaves the White House to go to work for MSNBC, she's going to be replaced by a large cartoon figure uh, because it's less conspicuous for the president to be hustled away from journalists by a bigger-than-life Easter Bunny than by an almost human-like staffer. That's why. <laughs> and then there is the famous ghost handshake. Biden attempted to have this handshake after his speech that he gave in North Carolina. Now, he finished his speech and appears to have followed a cue from his teleprompter that told him, shake hands when he finished. One little problem. His cue to shake hands was there, but there was no one there. <laughs> now, a couple of days earlier, he had given a speech about ghost guns. It appears that he thought that meant that actual ghosts were getting guns, and he just wanted to pretend to shake the hand of the ghost. Watch. God bless you all. Oh, man, most of the press didn't even try to cover for this rather pathetic moment, but the so-called fact-checker site called PolitiFact tried to explain it away by saying it was just a hand gesture to point at someone. Really? I mean, the utterly discredited PolitiFact got laughed at more than Biden for that whopper of a cover-up. And then this week, after a federal judge in Florida overruled the despised and hated mass mandate for trains, planes, and buses, the president seemed to take sides with the people when he said that people could decide for themselves whether to wear the phony Fauci fashion face diaper. Mr. President, can people continue to wear masks on planes? That's up to them. Yeah, good, it's up to them. But apparently, he's just the president. He's not really calling the shots because hours after the president seemed to indicate that we were going to be a free country again and that wearing a mask on a plane was going to be up to us, his own Justice Department said it would appeal the ruling so Democrats can keep everyone's faces covered up. You know what? Maybe Democrats know that if they force us all to keep wearing masks, nobody will notice that the Democrats are talking out of both sides of their mouths. <laughs> That's the deal. Frankly, there are some Democrats whose faces really do look better all covered up, so maybe it's not that bad. And yes, some people ought to wear a mask for medical reasons, or maybe they just don't want to brush their teeth. I don't know. But shouldn't that be our choice? I mean, how come it is that Democrats want to justify killing an unborn child based on the choice of the mother, but they want to eliminate the choice that you might make, not about your baby's health, but about your own health. And remember when President Biden said we need to punish those Border Patrol agents who were accused of using whips against illegal immigrants? Well, after a thorough investigation, the agents were completely cleared of any wrongdoing. But the White House refused to apologize. In fact, they refused to even admit they were wrong. And is the president going to apologize to them? Uh, there is a process and an investigation that's gone through the Department of Homeland Security. I don't have any update on that. Nah, you don't have any update on that. The update would be, 
Yeah, we really blew it. We were <laughs> insulting to those border agents, but we'll never hear that from them. Now look, I know you might think I'm just a bit tough on President Biden, but folks, not nearly as tough as I could be, okay? <laughs> look, I don't bun bungle his decisions and his declarations. I just try to make sure that you see why I think our country is in trouble with him in the driver's seat and why I encourage you to get out and vote this November. <laughs>